If you want to adult it a little bit. This is how you adult This it. is how you adult it. A, a little something, yeah. something special. <laughs> oh, extra. Yes. This is some white rum? Yes. Yes, it is. So you, you can add. Me. And again, the amount is also up to you. How much of this am I going to So I will let you decide how adult you want this sorrel to <laughs> this be. This is a lot of sorrel. I feel like we could be real adults. A little more for the spirits. You're not expecting any children. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a me and you sorrel friend. And if Grab your glass and some ice, because this holiday episode is dedicated to a true Trini classic, Sorrel. So let's get mixing. So guys, I have a very special guest on who you're drinking today. <laughs> a friend from How To, this is Arlene. Hi. And why are you here, Arlene? Why have you come to bless me today? <laughs> well, you know, I always have to come to and it's the holidays. Mm -hmm. Holidays come in, so yeah. we must have Sorrel. Yeah, it is not a Trini Christmas. Is that a Caribbean Christmas, really? If somebody somewhere does not have sorrow. Mm -hmm. That's true. And today, we're doing something just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We're doing this one dedicated to our friends who are not here in Trinidad with us, who might not get fresh sorrel mm -hmm. off the highway from somebody <laughs> selling on a van, right? Right. So we have dried sorrel to work with today. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, this is a very easy recipe. Yeah. So in a large pot, mm -hmm. put some water in there. Right, we have that. Right. Throw in some sorrel. Okay. Dried sorrel. Mm-hmm. All right. And then here we have cinnamon, bay leaf, and clove. Okay. Put that in there. And then for that little spice in the back of your throat, yeah. you have some fresh ginger. The little kick, the little kick. <laughs> so ginger in. Right. So you give that a gentle stir and you sure. let it boil for about a half an hour. All right so that the sorrel is infused mm -hmm. and all of the aroma all the aromas come together all right all right so we're gonna let this hang out for half an hour and this close it open and how are we dealing with open this? open and boiling okay good all right so this is still steaming yes. this is fresh off the stove fresh off the stove mm -hmm. and that rich color mm -hmm. that's what we know we're on the right path yes. with this sorrel. must be a nice dark red yeah <laughs> listen i don't need to see through the jug <laughs> no, I don't no. need it. No. I wanted no, to no. stain everything. Correct is right. Mm -hmm. So what next? So now we sweeten. So okay. we sweeten with some brown sugar. Mm -hmm. right. And some white sugar. And two kinds of sugar because we fancy. We fancy like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. And now you can do this if you want to. Okay. An optional step. It's optional. Mm -hmm. Right? You can leave it as it is and right. enjoy it as it is. And be happy. If you want to adult it a little bit. This is how you adult This it. is how you adult it. A, a little something, yeah. something special. <laughs> a little extra. Yes. So this is some white rum? Yes. Yes, it is. So and you, you can add. Me. And again, the amount is also up to you. How much of this am I going to So I will let you decide how adult you want this sorrel to <laughs> this be. This is a lot of sorrel. I feel like we could be real adults. A little more for the spirits. You're not expecting any children. <laughs> No, this is a me and you sorrel friend. And if you make two batches of this sorrel, make sure and label okay, the yeah, sorrel yeah. for the Kid kids friendly and adults. And adults yes. No problem. Or keep it in a separate chiller, freezer, yeah. fridge, whatever you have. This is adult only sorrel, so we can Yeah, well, there's only adults in this room right now. Correct. <laughs> so now, of course, we need to leave this to cool. Yes. We, we're not drinking cool sorrel tea. Completely. Mm -hmm. And then you know it's over ice. Everything in the holidays is over sure. ice. Over ice and we'll taste. All right. So my friend, cheers mm -hmm. to a good holiday season. I mean, Same you have you. to sample the sorrel <laughs> that may or may not have <laughs> too much rum. This might be tip some tipsy sorrel here. <laughs> no, man. No, not because you can't taste. It don't mean it don't exist, eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, guys, like Ali mentioned, you don't have to do the rum. That's okay. completely optional. <laughs> if you want grown-up sorrel, sure. If not, it's fine. But with the rum, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As you know, I'm very impressed with the dry sorrel, though. For sure. It didn't come out clear, as you say, like see-through no. sorrel. No. It's very dark, very rich, mm -hmm. really nice. Packed with flavor, so good. <laughs> Of course, I'm so happy that you could join me this season to do these fabulous drinks. I had a really good time. Did you? Was it because of the rum down, Sarah? 
It was everything, <laughs> including the cute little, yes, the little head pieces. We're so ready for this happy season. Be sure to tell us, guys. Do you put rum in your sorrel? And if so, do you put it like me, or is it just a little splash? We love hearing from you. We want to wish you the very best of this Christmas season and all the best of the next year, of course. Until next time, my friend. Cheers. Bye bye. bye.